Tucker Carlson. Well, there's a few few videos here. Well, first I'll play this one. He's he's praising Russia. He's being interviewed. Appears, and I love it. I am a patriotic American. No, you're not. And I grieve when I see that the president no, you don't. is non compass menace. F you. In my country, Liar. it is considered very rude to say that. And see, you sort of wonder how did you get He's to a always plate? out there knocking America and my your your president is non compass mentis. Fuck you. And he's out there saying, oh, well, nobody allows you to say this in, our, in my country because it's so repressive, right? Nobody allows you. We can't just lie. And, you know, this is a guy that tries to pretend to be a, a journalist. But when he's hauled into court, he calls himself an entertainer. So he's entertaining the, the racists, I guess, the, and the fellow America haters. See, they only hate America when Democrats are in charge. When the Democrats are doing things that they like, you know, they like their their uh, Obamacare, they like their pre-existing conditions, protections, they like their Socialist Security and, um, and their Medicare, they like their $35 insulin, they like the their jobs at the new chips factory, right? They like that. But oh, it's uh, they're socialists because, or or not even that they they don't like Democrats because of genders and things like you know stupid shit that they have no. It doesn't even matter. Like mind your own business. But whatever it take, and that's why I say it takes a level of maturity to function in a free democratic society because you if you don't like somebody, that doesn't matter. Don't go to their house on Christmas. Shut your mouth. Leave people alone. You don't like, you don't want to have a legal marriage contract with somebody of the same peepee? Don't have one. Okay, well, here, here comes Tucker with some more, he's more bashing America. That's the other thing. These, that's what they do. Just kicking down. Uh, they hate America. Uh, they all do, though. It's not just Tucker. It's all of them, all the Republicans, like Ted Cruz praising Russia. Oh, why can't we be like Russia's military? They, uh, they're like the Avengers, you know, because they had an ad that was, of course, fabricated, completely fabricated with big muscle men falling from the sky. Why can't we be like that? Because that's fiction and we're trying to have a actual functioning society where you have an incompetent president who's driven not simply the standard of living but life expectancy how dare you okay here he goes he's a liar he hates america it's really infuriating to me how how dare he that's how i feel when i watch this i'm like you filthy traitor that's how i feel i don't know about you but to go to this international summit and spew this bullshit, this bullshit that is right out of the Kremlin. This is the shit that the Kremlin is pouring into Twitter now because they have no, they have absolutely no standards or they have no gatekeepers anymore. They're just pouring this, these lies into the, into our discourse because they they want to destroy us from the inside and Tucker Carlson is doing his part. He really is. He is prepping their the right wingers for an authoritarian takeover. That's what this is. It's like the Nazis who the the minute they saw the opportunity, they bought a a newspaper that was on its last legs and they started to put out that venom, that vomit. It didn't happen overnight. You know, they didn't go from uh, one day, hi, we're Nazis, to death camps and, uh, you know, the end of the, the Republic. It went, it took years. It took 10 years more, up and down and... They lost seats in the in the Reichstag. They won seats. They they were finished. They were on their way back and all this other you know, it didn't it wasn't a guarantee, but it took a long time. But all the while 
the propaganda was being churned out and being repeated and repeated. So what do you think he's doing? His his love letter to Erdogan, his constant, the, and the right-wingers, their constant love letters to the autocrats of the world. Trump literally writing love letters to the world's most disgusting dictators. Erdogan, uh, the uh, Duterte, he, he was praising Duterte's drug pro uh, policies of murder, of extrajudicial, <laughs> I can't talk, murder in the streets. That's the kind of system they want. And the fact that the Republicans is, and they've done studies now, they ask these Republicans, what do you, do, you know, what about democracy? They're like, oh, wait, I even saw some clip. I wish I had grabbed it. Maybe I could find it. But uh, with this old bat, excuse me, I'm an old bat, so I can say that, uh, saying, Demo what's democracy is, eh. Somebody asked her, what about, and a ma you know, a maggot at a, one of these maggot uh, holes or whatever they call them. And they asked her, well, what about, aren't you, don't you fear for democracy? And they, and this woman said, oh, democracy, that's over. Let me see, maggot. Let me see if I find her. Well, let's listen to Tucker while I find, try to find this maggot. And no one feels free to say that. That's not a political observation. What? It's a statement of fact, which is provable empirically. It is? And you see him? Everybody's, no one's, uh, everybody's afraid to say what? That, tr that Biden is, uh, he's got, he's non compass menace or whatever the fuck he said. And uh, everybody's afraid to say that? That's all I hear. That's all I hear on Fox News. There's, I wish they were so afraid. Be, not not because of the weaponized government, but because they were afraid of, you know, being embarrassed by their own stupidity. Like racists and morons used to be. You know, make racists afraid again. And I mean, make them afraid to, to scream and yell the N-word and put racists back in the closet. Everyone's afraid. You see what he's doing in front of this uh, this international audience, just c completely kicking down on the on America. Oh, I love, but he has to preface it. He's like, oh, but I love America. I love my country. I'm a patriot. No, you're not. How are you calling yourself a patriot when you hate everything about this country? Every other country is better, and everybody sucks. In the country, but you're, but you know, you hate the system of government. You hate the president that the majority of people voted for. You hate the, I mean, everything about the country, everything that actually makes the country great. You hate the general welfare because you're a trust fund brat that had everything handed to you. The little chicken killing Swanson brat. That's what he is. I mean, he's not the man of the people, you suckers. These people, they're, what, how are you so stupid, people? And he's not, it's not like FDR, you know what I mean? Because this guy, he's a sociopath. He's a selfish prick that's never done anything for anybody but himself. I mean, this is a guy who, the, he has no honor. He, and we know this because we have the letters, he emailed... Hunter Biden, you know, this is the same guy that goes on his, his tacky propaganda channel. This is before they kicked him off of Fox. And then he goes on to man, child Musk's propaganda channel, both, you know, trust fund brats. Right. And he, he, there's a uh, emails of Tucker reaching out to Hunter Biden. Hey, pal. Can you write my my little what is his his uh, son's name is Buckley? Of course it is. What else would it be? Buckley. Buckley Carlson. 
you know, authoritarian, loving, trust fund brat, Buckley Carlson. Never had to work a day in his life. They had no talent. He has no talent. You see, he's like Trump. They say, oh, Trump is a genius, just like we were talking about earlier. Uh, he's a genius. He's a political genius. He he figured out he first first race he runs, he wins the presidency because he has no honor and says anything. He exploits the bro the brokenness about America. He has no he has no not just ability. He has no desire to do anything to make America great. The most radicalizing thing I would just say for me in the eight days I spent in Moscow was not simply the leader of the country, who of course is impressive, it's the largest landmass in the world. And it's wildly diverse, linguistically, culturally, religiously. Why don't you move it's hard there? to run a country like that for 24 years. Whether you like. What? This guy is such a traitor. Listen to him fawning, him gushing over Putin. He's like, it's hard to run a cr country like that for 24 years, whether you like it or not. Wait, wait, wait. He's an autocrat who runs fraudulent elections, who murders the competition, who murders journalists. People can't protest there. They have no right when they're, they're protesting uh, Alexei Navalny's murder. They're, they're simply laying flowers at uh at monuments they're not they're not they're they're afraid to take their lives in their own hand i mean they're, they'll end up in siberia the other thing is i just just an aside i always wondered why did he go back why they knew they were he was going they were going to put him in jail he should have stayed only because i thought wouldn't he have done more good not dead but, okay, that's another a conversation for another time. But listen to this guy. Imagine, imagine this was Ilan Omar or anybody, any of the squad. Could you imagine? Wait, hold on. I hit the wrong button. Fact, which is provable. In wait, hold on. Hundreds it's of provable. Years, and I love it. I I wait, wait. I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. I also love how he has to, I mean, love in quotes, how he always has to say, well, it's true. It's a fact. I'm not making it up. It's just the facts. Is it a fact? No, I'm not, I'm not lying to you. It's a fact. You don't have to see. It's like if you watch uh, the nightly news with Lester Holt, you're like, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's just a fact. You don't have to be that, you know, self-conscious about it if you weren't a fucking liar like he is. Like American. And I grieve when I see that Do the you? president is non compass menace. And that in my country, it is considered very rude to say how that. How dare you? And what you a sort of liar. wonder, how did you get to a place rude. where you have an incompetent president who's driven... He's so incompetent. If he's so incompetent, what does that make you? Look at all he's gotten done. Look at the the unemployment rate, the the um, the inflation rate going down faster than any other country. Look at uh, uh, the infrastructure week is no longer a laugh line. Certainly has gotten a lot done without the Republicans with a very slim majority. That's for sure in one house. So if he's such, he's so non compass menace and he's so incompetent what does that make you tucker loser you know i mean these people like they just have no shame and and it really it it gets on my nerves because what is he doing he's not it's not that he's pointing things out to make the country better he hates this country you get it he hates the system of government. He hates the the diverse nation of immigrants, the the uh, Democratic Republic. He hates that. He hates it. He because he everything about it. That's what he considers 
wrong. He wants an oligarchy because he's in the freaking oligarchy. He doesn't want to pay any taxes at all. He wants to be able to pass his ill-gotten gains from all those dead chickens, every single one of those chickens that were killed to make those those effing uh, Swanson frozen crap dinners to line his pockets. Every single chicken had more value in life than than Tucker Carlson could ever muster in a thousand lifetimes. Yeah, he's Tuckio Rose. That's right. He really is. He's he, there is there has to be um, a standard, don't you think? I mean, he would he should be ashamed of himself. He should be. He should just leave. Leave the country. Get. Dr he should leave. Get the fuck out of the country. If it's so horrible, you want to live in an oligarchy? Go right ahead. You got one. You're in one. Go. Don't come back. Go buy a castle. Yeah, we always make fun. When he used to go on the radio with the shock jocks talking about how he was, uh, you know, in the, in the ivory tower trying to st uh, fend off the the mob or whatever like to pull the pull the drawbridge up so they couldn't get to him and all this cuz he was he's a trust fund brat right exactly haiku on the chat love it or leave it tuckums right that's all they say to liberals could you imagine if this were anybody else if this were any democrat they would never talk like this that's the truth though that's the truth. They would never talk like this.